Sorry, my name is Chris, and this will be my review for the Equalizer 3. Now, a quick synopsis of the film first. Now, since giving his life as a government assassin, Robert McCall finds solace in serving justice on behalf of the oppressors. Now, living in southern Italy, he soon discovers his new friends are under the control of a local crime boss. As events turn deadly, Macau becomes the protector by taking on the Mafia. So that's a quick synopsis of the film. Now I want to start with the positives here. Now Denzel Washington, no matter what project he's in, he always brings his A game. And he continues to do that in this third installment in this franchise, which is to indicate like the final chapter or at least for now in this franchise and I, I really like mostly I think he he he's great in the action scenes like in the previous two films here but I really enjoy more his intense a uh, a uh, conversations and dialogue and I think those scenes are really great and when you have like a Oscar winning dance in Washington I mean you can't go wrong with that it, it just really elevates every line of dialogue he's delivering here so the other thing that I really like about this film was to see uh, the kind of fan in here so uh, she's a very dynamic actress to watch on screen. I always appreciate whenever she pops in in a project that she's in. Now, it, this is a reunited uh, with Dancing Washington after like 50 years because they're both co stars in the film Man of Fire a couple of years back. And uh, she was like the little girl that he was protecting in that film and just a really great film if you haven't watched it I highly recommend it. Man of Fire now moving on to some of the things that I was miss or negative about the film first things first is the this plays out as your typical action film. I mean, uh, this one, uh, director Anthony Fuqua returns here as he directed the previous two films in this franchise. But I feel like it was nothing new here. It just, it feels like your typical action movie, very standard, nothing new here. At least the first movie was more creative in terms of the uh, action scenes. Remember, he used that a lot with the seconds in his watch. And that's, this dies a factor here in this film, but mm, then it's not very used a lot. Um, but the second one, it have a, the second film had a twist. You may see it coming, but at least it was there. He had that going for it. And I mean, and Peter Pascal makes in Equalizer 2 an interesting villain. Here, it's just the plot is very predictable. Uh, when the, within the first few minutes of the film, you can probably not guess how it's going to end and the villain is very generic is not it's not it's not even that interesting at least a uh, Pedro pascal had that going for him in the second film and and it wasn't like big Pedro pascal like now so uh, that was uh, a letdown in this film, especially the action scenes. I think they compared the action scenes of the previous two films. I think this was a, a bit of a disappointment as well. Now, also, if you bring in Dakota Fanny here, don't bring her just to have like this reunion 
between her and Denzel Washington because she's a very great actress and she has a couple of scenes here. I mean, the best scenes of the film are with her and Denzel Washington they're interacting. And, but she's not very that involved with the plot. She has a couple of a screen, a, a screen time, but she's supporting here. She's not co starring in this movie. But considering how great of an actress she is, I feel they underutilized her. I feel they could have given like more to do in this film or something more of an interesting character. And uh, she plays this uh, CIA agent here. That, and th there's not very much into it, although like, by the end of the movie, you get to know a little more about her, but that's it. No spoilers here. But it just it just comes very generic this movie, and and in terms of racking the f those films in the franchise, I think my favorite is. The second one, I will put Equalizer 2 first, and second, the first one. Oh, it's very close to first place as well. And third, I will put this last because eh, I was very disappointed. If you're expecting like to watch a typical action movie, just eh, this is for you then. But I will say, this is better a streaming movie or, or, or a rent movie or buy a digital. I don't think this movie you have to go and watch it on on the big screen, uh, especially because it's nothing uh, very uh, that demands all oh, you have to we watch this in on the big screen. Because I feel Dancing Washington is up here and the rest of the film is up here, down here. So it's not on par with him. So that's a letdown. So I would say that if you want to watch it, just wait for a streaming on digital. I think that that's the way to go with this one. So that's my review for the Equalizer 3. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.